Hey friends, this is Dolany TV and we can officially say after last night's stomping of the Colorado Avalanche, we got playoff hockey to get to this spring and that is absolutely fantastic. What has been a sure thing for the Oilers for the past about two weeks has now been officially confirmed with clinching a playoff spot last night. That's fantastic and obviously it warrants just kind of looking back where we've been this year. Go back to the squirrel suit wearing situation earlier in the season. Go back to kind of where this team was just not at all the team that we have seen since November 24th. And for us as Oilers fans, I think the biggest thing here this uh, this uh, winter slash early spring is for the Oilers. Uh, they're not nearly the team they were at the start of the year, but there is still some cautious optimism when it comes to this team due to kind of performances like the game against Dallas, and then you all of a sudden flip and a few days later have the performance like you did against the Colorado Avalanche. I think my biggest concern right now is which team will show up in the playoffs, but what we know historically here over the past two years, uh, especially for the Edmonton Oilers, is they save their best for at least that first round of the playoffs, right? The Oilers come and work hard and grind it out and get the job done. Now that said, that was against LA. It looks likely it'll be Vegas in the first round here this year if uh, all kind of shakes out the way it's going to be, but the Oilers still fully in control of their own destiny so long as they keep winning here and possibly if uh, Vancouver continues to fall off, able to chase down the first overall spot in the Pacific Division. So when it all shakes out there for us friends, I'm really excited to see how this season finishes. And with that, I guess I can tell you I'm going to the Battle of Alberta tonight. I'm going to head out and watch that down in Calgary because why not, right? It's it's one of those things I've kind of watched uh, pretty much two, well, I guess one, uh, two, three. I, I've been around the building for all four this year, I can actually say. The Heritage Classic, the one in Calgary earlier in the year, and then Patrick Gillis TV and I going down to uh, obviously... Rogers Place, unable to get in because tickets never truly fell, but uh, still in the building for that one to some degree. And then tonight as well, taking a family member down to the uh, Saddle Dome for this one. But you look at this here, the Oilers, it took them 46 wins and 97 points <coughs> to officially clinch a playoff spot, which is right around where I think most people would have put it for the Oilers to actually be in the playoffs with that 95, 96, 97 mark, and 97 officially with seven games to go kind of clinches the Oilers a playoff spot. You look at it right now, LA is just a few seconds away from being back in third place in the Pacific Division. Uh, the Oilers, I think at this point, so long as they win two or three more games, have probably solidified second at the bare minimum. The Canucks were only five points back, so the Canucks losing their past three out of five. You can maybe make the argument that the Oilers have a chance here if the Canucks keep losing three out of five down the stretch, right? The Canucks have a grand total of six games left, so they lose four out of six. Uh, the Oilers could very well chase them down for that next uh, playoff spot available ahead of us, which is first place in the Pacific Division. Now for the Oilers, I don't know if anything really shakes out in terms of who you want to play, Nashville, LA, Vegas. When it comes down to it, I don't think there's necessarily a perfect opponent other than, I will say friends, with things clinched and knowing the Oilers have rose to the occasion when challenged by the LA Kings the past two years, I almost want Vegas just to, end of the day, get it over with here early on in the spring, right? Either the Oilers are going to beat Vegas and move on or else they're going to be flaming out in the first round and it is exactly what some people like myself have worried about all season and you yeah, have it solved. So it's not that I'm trying to be negative here on the Oilers. I'm just extremely tired, just waking up. Like I said, I'm going to the Battle of Alberta today, so it's a busy schedule. But uh, with, the, uh, with the playoffs clinched now, I'm basically telling you I want to face Vegas first round just simply to get it over with. That's that's the argument for me is that way, right, there's no waiting to the second round, right? The Oilers look so good in that first round. They're definitely going to beat Vegas. No, just get it done with in that first round 
And then, yeah, you know what? If you have to face Vancouver in the second round, oh well, so be it. That'll be a highly watched matchup. But for the Oilers, it's it's a really big test of how far we've come this playoffs. Obviously, seeing how far this team truly is capable of going at its peak under Ken Holland. And I'm looking forward to seeing kind of that develop here as we go through the last few games of the year to solidify either LA, Vegas, Nashville, Vancouver, whoever it truly is here in this first round. I don't think it can be Vancouver, but you know where I'm going is it would definitely be nice to watch the Oilers come out in that first round against a high caliber opponent. Like I'm, I'm even scared about the LA Kings. Actually, I'm more scared of the LA Kings than I am the Vegas Golden Knights all told simply because third time is the charm for the LA Kings, right? Is we beat them two times in a row you are not going to be able to convince me that the LA Kings aren't going to do everything necessary if they get a third chance at the Edmonton Oilers in the first round of the playoffs to beat the Oilers for that first time and kind of push themselves over that hill when it comes to trying to get into the second round of the playoffs over the past three years. Because LA is building something here, but the Oilers have kept stymie in it. And you know, many teams over the past several Decades have been the uh, teams to do that to us, right? Namely, Colorado, Dallas, Winnipeg in 2021, right? There's a couple of teams there that have diminished our hope in the season based on a first round exit. So friends, I'm Tyson. This is Dahl on TV. Thanks so much for being aboard here this morning. Like I said, I got to get going and get rolling. So that's why this video is up so early and why it's uh, such a soft-spoken early morning Edition, but we'll talk to you maybe a little later on here from outside the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. But for now, I'm Tyson this Stolony TV. I'm up on Oda here.